right, here it goes, the first test drive ever. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna be back on the 370Z build and we actually got a few exciting things for today as well as some parts we're gonna throw on this thing. And what we're gonna basically do today in this video is actually go ahead and start buffing on this car. As you can tell, the hood in the front bumper got the most orange peel and trash. I don't know why, as well as the deck lid. So we're gonna do a little bit of buffing. The rest of the car actually came out super good. The doors, the pillars, the quarter panels, and the wide body kit came out super smooth. So we're not gonna be buffing too much on this car, but we're gonna buff just enough to make this thing shine. So let's go ahead, give this thing a wash so we can get the buffing knocked out and move on to the next step. She's looking real nice and shiny. She's ready to go back into the garage and get ready for that buffing stage. Almost looks like she don't need it, but I know, right? She but does I'm only in a few areas. Yeah, so. I might as well just go through, uh, show them a few areas. Yeah, while this it's clean. Top of this trunk lid, it's not bad, but if you get like from this angle right here, you can kind of see a bit, a little bit of trash right there, as well as the hood over here. There's a few bits of trash right there. Nothing too major on this car. We did a pretty dang good paint job, but like the hood in the front bumper is like probably the main things. And then we actually got a few things that we want to paint, like the side mirrors. They want We want to go black on them and just match the roof really nice, as well as the door handle. So let's pull it in and get straight to work. Alrighty guys, so we just finished sanding the hood and the front part of the bumper, actually the top part of the bumper with the 2000. We're not gonna go into all the steps because the paint job has actually turned out pretty good and as you can see, it actually cut down with that 2000 really smooth. But now what we're gonna do is actually go ahead and sand this with the 3000 grit and then once we're done with that, we're gonna move on to the back and get that deck lid. And after that, I think we're gonna pull out our buffer. What do you think? Yes, sir. I think that's all we gotta buff here. Everything else is looking great. I do wanna try one thing though, I almost forgot. I wanna go ahead and sand these headlights with the 3000 grit only, something 3000. I know headlights, uh, they're not like paint jobs. They're not like clear coat. So you may have to go like 3000, 5000 maybe, but I'm gonna try with the 3000, not a big deal. Sand them down because as you can see, there is a little bit of hazing on these and there actually is a few little cracks I don't know if there's if this is common on 370Zs, but there's like some cracks probably from the sun. Where'd this car come from? Uh, I'm not too sure where the background. It's down south. So. Down south, so it's not not like not too, too bad. crazy, but I'm gonna go ahead and sand him with the 3000, get everything buffed out. Then we're gonna move on to the next step. Guys, I'm sorry, uh, I kind of had a crook in my neck when I was walking over there. I looked at the car and broke my neck, so I'm gonna have to wear this probably for the rest of the sanding process, but not a big deal. It's actually working out pretty comfortable. I can actually go to sleep while sanding, because you know, 
you know my neck. <laughs> don't, don't fall. <laughs> Actually, that's something that a fan sent us. He said that was the funniest thing. I remember that. Fan mail. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention we will be doing fan mail here really soon. Yeah, somebody sent us this and said whenever you launch the GTR, make sure to put this on. And uh, it's been helping ever since. Anyways, let's go ahead and finish sanding this car, buff it out to a shine. Alright, so we officially got all the rough areas completely wet sanded. Now we're gonna grab the buffer, get some buffing compound, and make this thing shine. Since I don't have a new pad, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and give this thing a nice wash. You wanna always do that because old polishing compounds, stuff like that, builds up, turns into rocks, and you don't wanna have a swirl special on your brand new paint job. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up really nice with some warm water and some cleaner, and then we're gonna get straight to buffing. So now that we went ahead and buffed everything, I went ahead and threw my soft pad on the buffer. I got my swirl mark remover right here. What this is gonna do is eliminate all the swirls the buffer created. And after this, the car should be 100% complete. So let's go ahead, throw some swirl mark remover on the car and quickly go over everything and be done with buffing. So we just completely finished buffing and swirl mark removing the entire car. You may have noticed a little discoloration with the bumper and the hood. I've noticed it a lot more after we just buffed it. I don't know why. I think it's because the bumper was black when we got it and the hood was red. So, but we did seal it. I don't know why it happened to be a lot darker. As you can tell, there is like a lot darker difference between the hood and that front bumper, which we may work something, something out without repainting it by putting maybe a carbon fiber hood. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. One of them uh, GTR looking Sabon hoods. I think yeah, that looks really sick. good. With the vents on the top, it looks really good. It's just not worth repainting this front bumper once again, because then you're going to have to repaint the whole front end of the car and blend everything once again. Not a big deal here, really not 
you know, not that big of a difference once we throw that carbon fiber hood on. But for the headlights, they came out really good. Dude, look this at one that. almost looks brand new. You see that? It does. I think he might have replaced this one, but that one it did clean up, but not as much. Yeah, it's not as uh, as uh, nice looking. Not as, as clear. One. Maybe it's because that one was replaced a couple years ago or not but we need to go ahead pull this thing outside and give this thing a nice wash really quick because all this buffing and polishing soil mark remove compound will dry on this car and it's going to be really hard to remove later on so we got to move fast let's go ahead pull this car out and pressure wash it one more time Alrighty guys, now that we gave this thing a nice wash, it looks absolutely amazing. It came out super good on the hood. Now what we're gonna do is actually run to the local hardware store because you can tell right here that most of our hardware is missing on our wide body kit and it's not 100% secure. So what we're gonna do is just grab one of these bolts right here. Hopefully somebody has it at the local hardware store. So let's run to a local hardware store and see what we can come up with. All right, so we're actually gonna take this Hell Kitty out. So let's hear this Cold Star. I haven't drove this thing in a while. You ready? I'm ready, man. This is the one, I think this is an M8, something like that, but we will find something very similar to this. And uh, later on, we'll, pro oh, we'll probably order some nice hardware, right? Yeah, for sure, for sure. This but is just temporary. Unless we find something really nice at the hardware store. True that, true that. So we'll catch you guys at the local hardware store. Alrighty, guys, so we just got our hardware bolts. Now let's head back to the shop and install our wide body. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we just made it to the bolt place here, man. Check this out. They got some fat bolts here. But hopefully he can hook us up. Not with these, but I think he said he's got them, so I think we're gonna be good. Yep, hopefully, fingers crossed, we're all good, then the wide body's gonna be 100%. Alright guys, so we finally got our hardware bolts right here. It was about $11 for 40 bolts, which is a really good deal. So now we can actually secure the, uh, the complete wide body instead of like two yes, or three sir. bolts. And we should be good to go after this. And then after that, we actually got some uh, some aftermarket parts that yes, are going sir, on. some aero kit. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. Gonna pretty much make the car look even more aggressive with that wide body kit. So let's, yeah, I, can't, uh, I can't wait to see and unbox it and see exactly what it looks like. Yes, sir, let's start heading back. All right guys, so we are back and all we gotta do is just simply screw all these bolts in. There may be some bolts where the rib nuts actually broke off, but we're probably gonna have to do just grab some kind of nut for the other side and just simply tighten it down. So let's go ahead and get started and finish off this wide body. Alrighty guys, so now that our wide body kit is fastened on, it did start raining on us, so we're gonna move into the garage. I'm gonna pull the ZL1 out and pull the 370Z in, and we're gonna install our aero kit. Go ahead and give us a cold start. Oh, if you if you say so, here we go. Man, this thing sounds so good, cold started. Ready? Yep. doing up in here look i was just cruising pulling it into the garage and thomas was in here the whole time i was like what thomas sleeping come on thomas get out here all right guys so this should be the rear diffuser from street arrow they sent us a full kit so let's go ahead and unbox it and see what we got something in here i think feels like it yo oh, nice dude that's yes. some high quality stuff ain't feel it feel that it's pretty nice oh, ain't it? yeah that feels nice and sturdy right there for sure this thing's gonna be aggressive in the rear, dude. Man, it looks it looks aggressive right now, but wait till we're done with it. 
Dang. Driver's side. What is this? This just Dude. looks like we're building <laughs> some kind of airplane or something. Yeah, let's go ahead and unpackage everything and start installing. Dang, son, check that out, guys. Let us know what you think of that aero kit. That thing is super aggressive. Dude. That's, a, that's the V2 diffuser from Aero, Street Aero. That thing is pretty dang aggressive on that rear end of the car. Yeah, it's gonna look good with it slammed, yeah, that's for almost, sure. Almost makes me want to do a dual exhaust on the back. What, what do you think? A dual we? exhaust? And like stick them out a little bit further, stick them out to about right there. Yeah, not like crazy, but just to make it look really good with that diffuser because our single exit exhaust is like too far up under there, you know? Yeah, that's true. But it looks freaking aggressive. Now, what are we gonna do, the side skirts? Yeah, now we got the whole package. So or let's do the front end first. Let's do the front end. Yeah, let's do it. Dude, you done hooked us up, dude. That is legit. That is just freaking amazing. I was not expecting I that. I know, honestly. right? I opened it, I was like reading it. I was like, does that say Street Arrow? And then we Goon see Goon Squad. Squad. That is lit. Dude, guys. that is awesome. Now I'm super excited to throw this thing on the front end of the car. It's a little touch for yeah. Goon Squad right there. The rear diffuser was real simple. I think the, the front's going to be simple as well. Along yeah, with this that. stuff is not too hard to install. Just a drill bit and some tools, and you're good to go. So let's go ahead and throw this bad boy on. Thing is sitting on the ground. Let me see that thing. That lip looks real good. Dang, let's go to the rear, dude. Goon squad. Woo! That is sick. Let's see what the rear is. Don't mind all the burnt engine parts here. Dang. Dang. Dude, that looks sick. Super aggressive. Sick. That is super it. aggressive. Now, what we got to do is throw these uh, side, side, skirts. side skirts on. I don't know. Side how, splitters. Yeah, side splitters. I don't know how they're going to work with our wide body and our side skirts, but we're going to make it, you know, make we're it work. Figure something out. Let's, let's get it. Let's do it. So the aero package is finally installed. Looks absolutely amazing all the way around. We do need a huge wing back here, right? Definitely, definitely to, something pretty big. Yeah, to match everything that's going on, the aggressive look. But now it is time to throw on that spare donut right there and uh, do some donuts. Take it down the road. <laughs> now we're just gonna go down the street, see how it handles. Let's do it. Oh. <laughs> Freaking sick, dude. New wide body wheels, eh? Dang, son, looks lit. Now, let's go put some fuel in her. All right, here it goes, the first test drive ever. Hearing a little bit of rattling, huh? Sounds like scraping. Might want to go out there and see what's scraping. Good. She does 
100%. Like, um, like we didn't check alignment or anything. So I'm like, the steering wheel sitting sideways a little bit. But she runs and drives smooth. That's all I gotta say. I bet she looks crazy from the outside. Like if you see this car drive by, especially with that spare tire, that's insane. But let's go give this thing some fuel. We're running pretty low. And we'll catch you guys at the gas station. But first, let's do a little bit of pulls on this V6. Let's see what she got. straight to the gas station and that's gonna be a wrap oh this is crazy let's do it some fuel everything is running and driving pretty great so far so I'm, I'm super happy how it's driving especially with that spare tire but we are getting new wheels here really soon so let's head back to the shop right now and that's gonna be a wrap for today's video dang son this thing is a freaking shovel bro Dang. That thing is low, low. Low, but it looks absolutely amazing. Huge shout out to Street Arrow. If you want an arrow kit for your cars, they have a bunch of different varieties. Be sure to visit their website. I'm gonna leave that in the link down below and use Goon Squad 25 to get 25% off the entire website. So with that being said, guys, be sure to turn on your post notifications because we got some awesome things coming your way. Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram at Goon Squad to get an inside scoop there before YouTube. Thank you guys for all the love and support. Be sure to stay tuned and we'll catch you next time. Peace.